It's a sign of changing times as Celtic feel just five Scots in the starting 11. The Dane, Martin Bickhorst, is the only change from the midweek match. Hibs are without Andy Dow and Gordon Hunter. Ian Cameron comes in and striker Keith Wright has to settle for a place on the bench. Alan Stubbs makes his competitive debut here at Celtic Park after an unfortunate start which Sean ordered off at the Todd race. That was followed by injury. The club's record signing will be hoping now to really establish himself. But Kevin Harper won't forget his last visit here. He was so badly injured that it cost him the entire season. He's looking forward to getting back to business for Hibs and hopefully also Scotland where he starred at under-21 level. The referee is John Robotham from Kirkcaldy. Well, a terrific atmosphere here at Celtic Park. Another full house as uh, Hibernians start the game. They're wearing their purple jerseys and shorts. And they've certainly not enjoyed uh, great fortune here in uh, recent seasons. They've failed to win in the last uh, seven visits uh, to beat Celtic in Glasgow. It's uh, De Canio trying to get forward, but he's well challenged. Chris Jackson. He did a good job there, and in fact, Tadani in getting the free kick. Well, last season, Celtic won three of the four league games against Hibs, and there was one drawn match. And certainly the Hibs players will notice a change in atmosphere, having played in front of just 1,200 people uh, against Albion Rovers the other evening. So it's uh, Tosh McKinley for Celtic. O'Neill, who's at the heart of the Celtic defence this afternoon, out to Boyd. O'Neill again, go for Peter Grant, the Celtic captain. A long one for Cadet to chase, but uh, it's of plenty of cover. That's knocked away by Andy Milne, a player, in fact, uh, was almost signed by Celtic a couple of years back. Tommy Burns made an inquiry for him. But uh, the deal didn't go through. This is Alan Stamps. Made by Miller, not convincingly though. De Canio steps in. Vikos is well forward. Good play by De Canio. Vikos is in the far side. Here he is. Now it's Andreas Tom. Good shot. And not far away, well Jim Layton certainly showed no signs of panic but uh, there was a fair bit of power in that effort, it was De Canio who sent it across, Vikos was there, teed it up for Andrea Storm, he took a touch on it and then fired in the shot. Away by Boyd. Laid off by Tom. Not a good one, look. Throw in to Hibernian. Pat McGinley, who made a spell of 15 months here at Celtic Park. And now uh, back at Easter Road with Hibernian. The second spell there. One from Boyd, looking for Van Hoydonk. Milne hesitates. Well, Andy Milne almost paid the price there. He hesitated as the long ball was played through in the direction of Pierre Van Hoydonk. And that's a long goal. Well, what an incredible start to this match. Pat McGinley, the former Celtic player with three minutes gone, Plays the ball into the back of his own net. A stunning blow for Hibernian. The corner kick was swept in. And McKinley rose to head the ball beyond Jim Layton. We can't quite believe it.
Tosh McKinley. Then the one ball played forward, it's Van Hoydonk. Challenged there by Joe McLaughlin. That's uh, McAllister. And running it out though for the throw into Celtic. Almost in the line with the penalty area. Well, Celtic have been uh, launching the one ball forward to great effect in the early stages of this match. That's what uh, brought them the corner that led to the goal. Here's another chance. And Jim Layton makes a good save at the feet of Cadet. De Canio it was who provided the cross and uh, good goalkeeping by Jim Layton. by Van Hoydonk, this is Vickhorst holding off Cameron, still it's Vickhorst and the cadet accepts a corner kick it's Tom to take it, uh, Stubbs moves forward so too does O'Neill, it's a great shot to Vickhorst Tom, this is Boyd Calls there, that was his ball. Good challenge by Grant and Cadet. Now it's Van Hoydon. Andreas Tom, the on the far side. Cadet's there as well. 2 0. With 14 minutes gone, 2 0 to Celtic. Georgie Cadet strikes again his eighth goal of the season. Nice ball through by Van Hoydonk. Andreas Tom provided the cross, and there was Cadet completely unchallenged. Celtic lead by two goals to nil. Well, a slack one there. By O'Neill. Aaron Jackson provides a cross and uh, well taken by Gordon Marshall and he had to handle that well because Kevin Harper was coming in. Good play by Darren Jackson but it all began with a mistake by O'Neill. Good cross by Jackson. Good goalkeeping by Gordon Marshall. McAllister. McAllister again. We're midway through the first half as Hibbs try to mount some kind of challenge here. But uh, Stubbs defends brilliantly. Good ball forward to Vickhorst. Cadet through the middle, so is Van Hoydonk. The Canio's there as well. Tosh McKinley's running in support. Here's McKinley. It breaks for Vickhorst. The Canio's there. Cameron Milne Chris Jackson McAllister Free kick was awarded Tom Boyd's not happy about the decision Gordon Marshall gets the defence organised McAllister Jackson, Alan Jackson over the ball. Shot going in there from Cameron. Still, it's not cleared. Chances on for Harper. Good save. Gordon Marshall looking for his first shutout in the Premier Division this season. Makes a very good save indeed. The Canio. Hefty challenge there going in from Pat McGinley. He's been called over by the referee. Well, some of the Hips players are complaining to John Robotham, but uh, he's going to book 
the former Celtic player. Well, what an afternoon for the unfortunate Pat McGinley. First of all, he heads into his own goal after four minutes, and now the yellow card is shown. Not a happy return to Celtic Park for him. Cameron. Warren Jackson is ahead of him. There he is. McAllister. McGinley. Chris Jackson. Harper. And stringing the passes together. Cameron. He tumbles there. Well, the referee's giving a free kick right on the edge of the area. Certainly it was a good build-up by Hibbs. The challenge there is inside the box. Celtic are fortunate to get away with that. So a challenge here for uh, Gordon Marshall, who's uh, had a good game so far. A chance now for Hibernian to get back into this match, but really they should have had a penalty there. Play by Cameron. This is Darren Jackson. Good handling by Gordon Marshall once again. Good save by the goalkeeper. It was well struck by Darren Jackson. Good handling by Gordon Marshall, but Hibbs will feel aggrieved that they didn't get a penalty. Inside the final minute of the first half, it's Van Hoydonk for Celtic. Cadets there. Good save again by Jim Layton. Brilliant play by Georgie Cadet, who peeled off, ran towards the near post as the cross was delivered. Great touch by Cadet, and a fine save by Layton. Here's De Canio providing the cross. Stubbs gets a touch. Hibbs scrambling away. Kenya was unlucky there. Cameron did well, though. Through for Chris Jackson. Willie Miller started a good run. Celtic are caught here, but uh, Boyd loses a tremendous pace. Good defending again by Tom Boyd, who's had an excellent first half. There's a real chance on for Hibernian there. Chris Jackson did ever so well, getting the ball through towards Willie Miller. It's Jackson again. Well, breaks down for Hibs, it's Peter Grant who plays it through. And they've played a minute of stoppage time in this first half. Here's the canny off of Celtic, Cadets through the middle. Van Hoydonk to the far side, Tom's there in support. Cadet! Brilliant play by Celtic, it's 3-0! Cadet gets his second goal of the game. It's his ninth of the season. Great play by Celtic. The Italian, the Ganadol, the German provided the cross, and the Portuguese finish it off. 3 0 to Celtic. We're in stoppage time in the first half. And all the points are secure. The whistle sounds, a great roar is around Celtic Park, there's the hero of the first half, but there's a man who headed through his own goal after just four minutes, the corner kick came in from the right and McGinley headed beyond Jim Layton, then after 14 minutes, Andreas Tom provided the cross and Cadet headed home, and then right on the interval, a brilliant goal by Celtic, set up by De Canio and Tom, and there was Cadet, to make it Celtic 3, Hibernian nil. So here we go for the second half, and uh, Hibernian have made a change. Keith Wright has come on, Darren Jackson is off. Nice touch by Cadet. This is Van Hoydonk. Through for the Canio. Cadet's away through the middle. 
Canio provides a cross, it's Cadet for the hat trick. So close. Goal kick is awarded. Good running on the right hand side by Paolo De Canio. Cadet was sticking through the middle. Put his head to the ball and just beyond the post. The challenge by Tom. This is Cadet. Grant. Good ball by Peter Grant. It's Andreas Tom again. Taking on McGinley. Solid challenge from him. Throw into Celtic. Here's the Canyon. Oh, great play. Tosh McKinley provides a cross. Van Hoydonk to the far side, and it's Willie Miller who heads behind for the corner. It's uh, a lovely touch there by the Canio. The Celtic fans basking in the sunshine and enjoying the team's performance. An afternoon of relaxation for them. They're leading by three goals to nil. Could be another one here. There is. Brian O'Neill. That's 51 minutes on the clock. It's 4 0 to Celtic. Brian O'Neill. Well, a Scotsman gets on the score sheet. But really, Alec Miller, the Hibs manager, will be furious with the loss of that one. He took it well, but uh, you've got to question the marking. Certainly, as the ball was flighted across, we always look like getting to it. Celtic 4, Hibernian 0. No goal from McGinley, two from Cadet, and now one from O'Neill. Played through by Chris Jackson. This is Miller. Slight one by him, and turned by Vikost. Good touch by Boyd. The chance is on here for Andreas Tom. Good save by Leighton. Still the danger isn't cleared. It's Tom again. Tosh McKinley. Oh, lovely skills by McKinley. That really was a brilliant piece of juggling by Tosh McKinley in a very tight situation, getting the ball to the line. And there's a shot going in from Tom Boyd. Well, what a chance there for Andreas Tom. The gap opened up, he darted through it. And uh, Jim Layton made a very good save indeed. Tom looked favourite to score, but uh, the Hibs goalkeeper did an excellent job. This is O'Neill. Well, it's Andreas Tom. And Celtic passing the ball with a lot of confidence. It's just a matter of how many on their home side this afternoon. They certainly look capable of providing more goals for this big crowd. Great skill again by Tosh McKinley. Still it's McKinley. To Stubbs. They were caught there by Keith Wright. Free kick goes Celtic's way, and uh, the defender has taken a bad one. They're just about to clear the ball, and uh, Keith Wright come in, caught him. So the referee now has uh, decided to take action against Keith Wright. The yellow card is shown. of comfort from the Celtic captain Peter Grant and uh, an anxious moment now for Tommy Burns who's been enjoying a very good performance from his team this is really one of the sad sights in football uh, Van Hoydonk challenging with uh, Welsh led off by Jackson turned by O'Neill off the head of Willie Miller throw into Celtic. Good running by Tom Boyd. Good touch by him. Oh, great save by Jim Layton from Simon Donnelly. Well, the substitute's been in the park. Only a minute. 
But uh, Tom Boyd cut that one back brilliantly. The early shot from Simon Donnelly and an excellent save from Jim Layton. Uh, said they have scored four. It would have been a lot more, except for the heroics of Layton. Inside that show patience. There's De Canio. He's caught though. Chances on for the break here. Hibs are pouring players forward. And uh, Peter Grant uh, certainly fouled Keith Wright. And the free kick has been awarded. Well, the Celtic skipper looks as though he was taking a bit of retribution on the Hibs striker for uh, his challenge in Alan Stubbs. And uh, Peter Grant perhaps just lucky to get away with that. of a touch by Harper, now it's uh, McAllister. Breaks on for Selding again, long ball through to Van Hoydonk. Right across now for De Canio, he controls it well. Good play by De Canio, and in the end a bit unlucky. Crossfield pass from Van Hoydonk. It was well controlled by De Canio, and as uh, late in advance, they knocked it over the keeper, but also over the crossbar. Rockland to Donnelly. De Canio. They actually just turned into a training exercise now for Celtic. Slayed off by Van Hoydonk. Uh, three kicks awarded just outside the area. Brian Welsh. Clearly fouled uh, Pierre Van Hoydon. And this is just about the range for the Dutchman. And they scored a quite spectacular goal at Pitodre on day one of the season and from much further out. And really is quite deadly from these set pieces. Excellent pass to the Canio. Good first touch by him to Donnelly. Van Hoydonk to way out wide right. Van Hoydonk taking on Welsh and winning the corner. Good build up play by Celtic. The Canio, Donnelly, and then Van Hoydonk. A great ovation for Paolo Di Canio, as he goes over to take the corner kick shot to the cost. Di Canio again. Looking for the opening, twisting and turning, showing great skills, but in the end, wide of target. But uh, great entertainment, no doubt about it. Twisting and turning, showing lovely skills, and then drifting it beyond the far post. Just the Finley digs in. Now it's Grant. Well, Grant got very late there by McKinley, who was uh, booked earlier on. Now, this will be interesting. He's calling him over. It'll be a second. Yellow card followed by the red. And there could be no arguments. Yellow and red. He's off. O'Neill. Through for McLaughlin. Good touch by him to Tosh McKinley. 
Van Hoyland comes in on the far side. Goal kick. And the final whistle. A superb Celtic performance. Tommy Burns will be a happy man, but uh, Alec Noah has a lot to think about now. But really, Celtic in top gear all the way through. And uh, O'Neill making it 4 0 after 51 minutes. The corner kick was swung in, and he headed the ball powerfully past Jim Layton. Then after 73 minutes, it was Van Hoydonk with a tremendous free kick. The final score here at Parkhead is Celtic 5, Hibernian 0.